Hello guys and welcome back to another goddamn Gamer Lad episode. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at my theories on who is going to get the head caved in in the Walking Dead Season 7 premiere. That is on everybody's tongues at the moment. And there's people saying that Daryl's going to get it, Glenn's going to get it, Abraham's going to get it. Now I'm going to give you my four characters or i think it may be and i think that there's going to be at least three deaths <laughs> yeah i know that's right three deaths not not two i'm going to give you my theories let's check it out you can breathe you can blink you can cry hell you're all gonna be doing that So the end of that scene leads us on to this, which is the sneak peek that has just been released for season 7, which is due out in two weeks. And as we can see, Rick has got blood splashed across his face, which was not there in the season finale of season 6. This lets us know that somebody to his right has taken the beating, and the people that were on his right, as we know, were Maggie, Abraham, Michonne, Daryl, Rosita, and Glenn. The obvious prospects at the moment being Abraham and Glenn as they were missed from the casting of the new series but here's why I think Maggie might also be the one to get it or possibly Daryl. After Negan takes Rick into the car V we can see this blanket on the floor. This is the blanket that Daryl was wearing at the end of season 6 when he got out of the van. And also, when the camera pans down even further, we can make out what seems to be an engagement slash wedding ring on the right hand side. Now, is this the one that Glenn gave to Maggie? I'll let you be the decider of that. Also, we need to note that Negan takes pleasure in pointing out that Maggie looks almost dead anyway. You look shitty. What better way to take her out than now? As we can see, Glenn isn't about to let that happen so easily. So maybe the two of them are going. Maybe Maggie gets a beating uh, while he makes Glenn watch and then Glenn is taken out afterwards. Or maybe the other way around. Maybe Glenn's taken out and then Maggie, after watching Glenn meet his demise, that's why we can see the ring on the floor. But that wouldn't explain why Daryl has his blanket on the floor. Maybe Daryl also steps up and the three of them get the chop. And maybe that is the big cliffhanger. The fact that not only two characters are going to be killed, but there's going to be three characters killed off. Don't any of you do that again. I will shut that shit down, no exceptions. Now we cut to the scene where Negan is talking about having right hand men. Simon's my right hand man. Simon. The guy, the freaky looking guy on the left with a moustache, also known as a freaky guy from Grand Theft Auto 5 as Trevor. He's Negan's right hand man. Now have you noticed, he says having a right hand man is important and without one, you know, what are you without one? And as people of the comics may remember, Rick lost his right hand to the governor. Is this now where he's going to lose his hand finally? In this episode, are we not only going to see a couple of the main characters die, but are we also going to see Rick lose sure. his hand? Yeah. Give me his axe. Nagan then decides to wave Rick's own axe eerily in front of his face for the next five to six seconds before standing up and putting it behind his belt before dragging him away for what I can only imagine to be a painful ordeal right where My Rick loses his hand. And if not, well, we can just turn these people inside out, won't we? I mean, the ones that are left. So... I'm presuming that Rick is going in there to have his right hand amputated. And the thing that really gripped me about that last sentence from Negan is the, the very last sentence that he said. And here it is again. 
the ones that are left. Now, with that sentence, we can only presume that there's more than one character died, or I can anyway, and is a real cliffhanger, like I say, the fact that there's going to be more than two people being killed off in this episode, or is it just going to be the two that everybody's suspecting? Now, I've given you my opinions, you know, I think there's a possibility that Maggie might meet her demise here for the simple fact that she's dying anyway, Negan's unlikely to go and waste supplies treating her to get her better. Um, we know that Glenn isn't just going to let that happen. If Maggie gets a beating, Glenn is going to step in. At the end of the day, it is wife. And Negan already pointed out that he, with no exceptions, he will shut that shit down. So if ne Maggie gets it, definitely Glenn is going to get it. That's two characters. Now next, you know, I think Abraham is a very strong contender for being killed off. For the reason being, he's been quite a misery all the way through The Walking Dead since he, he ended it and at the moment he's kind of getting on his feet he's becoming a bit of a, a love fling with Sasha and he's starting to be happy about life and think that there is a possibility of a better life outside of all this that's going on you know he's, he's hinting at having babies and he's also hinting at you know having a, a nice family life with Sasha now the other player on the cards is of course the fan favourite Daryl Dixon. Now, why would I suspect Daryl Dixon? Maybe because Scott Gimble and Robert Kirkman have made it very, very clear that nobody is safe in the world of Walking Dead. So what would be more, more, more traumatic to all the viewers after such a cliffhanger than to kill off the fan favourite himself, Mr. Dixon? Maybe that is why we saw the sheet sprawled out across the floor. Maybe when Maggie and Glenn were taken out. Daryl was also taken out. Or maybe, as these are the two that are extremely injured, maybe Maggie and Daryl are the two. So I think it's safe to say out of the four that I've mentioned, at least two, maybe three of them are going to be taking a beating and we're not going to see them again in the programme. But as I say, these are just my opinions and I have got no inside information and it's just truly, truly my self-observed opinions i'd like to know what your opinions are if you think mine are a load of bullshit just put down in the comments section below you know i i, I want to know your opinions and maybe i'll do another video on this and I'll, I'll share some of those opinions from my comment section or hit me up on twitter but again thanks for watching this and hope you liked it bye for now